Yeah, hi, it's Frank Waters here, and I'm the watercolour tutor at Q Art Studio in West London, and I also run my own Zoom virtual watercolours um, every Monday and every Wednesday. You can see I'm uh, just knocking in a, a little bit of sky and putting in the first light wash um, whilst painting this uh, scene of Abbey Notre Dame in Deray. Um, it's on the Ile de Ré where one of my students lives and that's Teresa Glover and she sent me this really nice photograph and so I thought I'd give it a give it a go and try and film it while I'm painting it so uh, just to show how things come together doing the first wash is really vital and you've got to let that dry now I'm pushing in the, uh, the bulk of the building I did a little bit of a pencil drawing before but not too much I want my brush to do a lot of the drawing I don't just want to be coloring in as it were also you know be expressive you know sort of paint the way you feel as well not just what you see you know look at what you're doing drop in some beautiful glazes but always retain light that's important just dropped a little bit of dry brush blue on the on the ocean in the background and now dropping in the foreground just lifting out a little bit with some tissue because I want to go darker with this building and I wanted to maybe not go too dark with the with the with the undercoat I wanted things to show through slightly um, I'm now ticking in uh, the dark accents, a little bit of calligraphy around where the where the windows are, and uh, and again just keeping all pretty fresh, keeping all fairly wet, not worrying too much about going over the side or over the edge or making a mess of it. Don't do that. Just be be brave and just push yourself along. It will either work or sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it gets too muddy. But I think I'm just getting away with this at the moment. Um, throwing in some burnt sienna, getting in some warmth against those uh, cool colours. Um, a bit more burnt sienna now into the building. Just going to let that dry. Always let things dry between um, between sessions. Otherwise, you'd, you'll you'll get things running all over the place. Finally, a little bit of calligraphy with the rigger brush, bit of dark, getting some accents, getting things to work. Um, Please come and join me anytime on my virtual watercolours on a Monday and a Wednesday and you can find me on my website which is www.frankwatercolours.com um, I do hope you can join me soon. Best wishes.